The doctor said if she survives, she'll be brain damaged. Now, were you with your niece when she got sick? My brother called, frantic. Alexis wasn't breathing. Pete wanted me to meet him here to help take care of the kids while they talked to the doctors. How long has Alexis lived with them? He and Karen adopted her from Romania last year when she was three. And these two were a surprise. They were born right after the adoption. The hospital called you because they think Alexis was poisoned. What do you think? My sister-in-law did it. Did you see Alexis drink or eat anything bad today? She drank the soapy water. Well, what soapy water? Mommy gave Alexis a pail to wash the wall. She was crying, so Mommy put the sponge in her mouth. She kept spitting it out. Mommy got mad. And when Mommy got mad, what'd she do then? She made it all soapy again and put it back in her mouth. Alexis was coughing. And what happened? She threw up. She kept trying to sit down, but Mommy made her stand in the corner again. When Daddy came home, Alexis fell, and she wouldn't get up. Katie? Mommy! The doctor said that you needed to see us. Why don't we let Katie say goodnight to Alexis? Come on, sweetheart. What's wrong? We'd like both of you to come down to our precinct. Well, we have to get the children home. Lady, if I have anything to say about it, you'll never see those kids again. You're under arrest. What? Attempted murder of your adopted daughter. Right, your Let's go. Detective Stabler, at any point during your questioning of Katie Campbell, did you suggest her mother was responsible for poisoning the victim? Never. In fact, Katie introduced her mother into the conversation without any prompting. Did you vilify or criticize her mother in a way that would influence her statement? I express no opinion about the defendant. Thank you. Nothing further, Your Honor. Why haven't we heard the audio tape of this interview, Detective Stabler? Mm -hmm. Standard procedure does not require police to record interviews with witnesses. Well, how convenient. So if you make a mistake, no one will hear it. I didn't make a mistake. In general, when a child is injured, uh, who's your first suspect? Depends on the circumstances. Ah, come on, detective. Isn't it true you look to the parents before anyone else? When the situation warrants it, yes. Are you out to get Karen Campbell? Of course not. But didn't you tell my client that if you had anything to do with it, she'd never see her kids again? That's out of context. Yes or no, detective? Yes. So it sounds like you had some pretty strong feelings about my client's guilt the moment you met her. My feelings have nothing to do with any of this. Now, you assumed my client was guilty, and that influenced how you questioned her seven-year-old daughter. That is completely false. I know how to conduct an interview. Thank you, detective. Nothing further. Excuse, detective. Miss Novak. I'm afraid the people haven't met their burden in proving the interview wasn't suggestive. Therefore, the defense motion to suppress the witness's testimony is granted. It was a joke. I beg your pardon, Detective Stabler? I said this is a joke. You'd be wise to remember no one cares what you think once you're out of that box, Detective. The interview wasn't suggestive. Please stop. One of these judges who thinks cops strong arm witnesses in order to make their case. Well, you think I just bullied a seven year old in the line? Elliot, leave. No, Elliot, stay. Enjoy the hospitality of our holding cells. You're in contempt. The events leading up to Alexis Campbell's terrible injuries are tragic and regrettable. And no matter the outcome of these proceedings, a little girl will never be the same. Mrs. Campbell, please rise. After considering all the facts and weighing the importance of the witness testimony, I find that there is a single piece of evidence that is paramount throughout this trial. And that is the fact that you love your daughter. And because of that, I believe that you did not force or encourage her drink a poisonous substance. 
this was a tragedy. In some ways compounded by this trial, I will not compound it further. Not guilty on all charges. What's wrong? I need a favor. If this is about Taft, forget it. I've been going through his decisions over the past 10 years. He's capricious. He disregards procedure on a whim. He dismissed assault charges without a motion and without a hearing, and he routinely sets exorbitant bail to force. Please. Casey, this is a total waste of time. I am every attorney that asks for Taft's recusal. They lose, including another child poisoning case, the People versus Rosalind Silvo. All right, let me see it. Here are the transcripts. Silva takes her daughter to the emergency room. She gets arrested for poisoning her with antifreeze, right? She waves her jury at the trial. Taft disallows an expert witness who's going to testify that her daughter has a genetic disease, right? So Silva's attorney asked for Taft's recusal. Silva's doing 25 to life. Do you know what this is? You don't know what this is. You have no idea what the circumstances were. This is ground for getting his ass thrown off the bench. I need you to call Jack Dreyer at the State Commission on Judicial Conduct and ask if anyone's filed any confidential complaints against Taft. No, absolutely not. You want to talk to Dreyer? Be my guest. But I guarantee you he's going to laugh you out of his office. I'm asking you to make one phone call. And I'm telling you that nothing you've shown me proves that Taft has done anything unethical or improper. You find such proof, bring it to me. Otherwise, I'm done with this, Casey. We would like your permission to exhume Christine's body. And if there's any chance of proving that she wasn't murdered, that's what's got to be done. Diana asks me about her. I tell her Christine smiled all the time. That's what I like to remember. Not all this. The crystallization is consistent with ethylene glycol poisoning. Okay, so where'd they come from? The hospital treated the baby with an ethanol drip. Right thing to do for antifreeze poisoning, exactly the wrong thing to do for a child with MMA. The ethanol caused the crystals to form and more than likely killed her. In other words, Rosalind Silva just spent 10 years in prison for nothing. Why wasn't she in the hospital? Released. Parents didn't want to put her in a nursing home. The aunt dropped by for a visit, found Alexis in her bed. Already dead. Karen was the only one home. Alexis, the You have the right to remain silent. Give up that right. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be applied for you. Do you understand these words? What was it, an accident again? No! The judge said I should do it. It was his idea. What judge? Judge Taft. He said Alexis he was too sick. I have other children to think about. He said we would all be better off if Alexis just died. Detectives, he wanted an invite I had to his ask. Well, we thought we'd class the place up a little bit. You're going to need to step outside with us, Judge Taft. Why? Just a private chat. Oh, what? Alexis Campbell is dead. Karen suffocated her. You knew that she was a danger to that little girl, and you let her go. This is absurd. Your Honor, you know the law says we can't arrest you in your own home, so uh, if you want, we could make a big scene. You all are going to be very sorry for this. And you're going to look so pretty for your mugshot. <laughs> 